uh, the potential penalty is five years and a dishonorable discharge for the desertion charge and life and a dishonorable discharge for the uh, charge of misbehavior before the enemy. At the Article 32 preliminary hearing, it was our position that the government had only shown probable cause for a one-day AWOL for which the penalty is 30 days confinement. We're very, very concerned that uh, my client's right to a fair trial has already been uh, um, severely prejudiced by uh, some things that have happened in the political sphere. Obviously, Donald Trump uh, has it in for my client. He, uh, he has repeatedly called my client a traitor. And amazingly to me, Mr. Trump said that when he's president, we will review his case. And I have absolutely no idea what Mr. Trump has in mind. And I will tell you right now, I don't think Mr. Trump has any idea what he has in mind. And I think he's a big faker. What information uh, the uh, potential jurors are exposed to and what information other decision makers in the case have been exposed to is a matter of deep concern. Uh, Mr. Trump's been at it for months and months. Uh, in addition to him, Senator John McCain uh, publicly stated in New Hampshire uh, not long ago that uh, if Sergeant Bergdahl was not uh, seriously punished, that uh, the Senate Armed Services Committee, which confirms all military promotions, by the way, uh, would hold a big investigation and a hearing.